All right, here we are beginning our third assignment in computer animation, and that is going to be a character animation. So what we're going to start with is creating a few new layers in our project so that we can put all the different features of our character on different layers. And so I've created six new layers. The first layer we are going to do is going to be the head layer. The second layer will be the mouth. The third layer will be the nose. Fourth will be the eyes, fifth will be the ears, and lastly will be hair. Alright, so on this first layer that is the going to be the sh main shape of your face, we're going to use the, uh, the rectangle or oval tool. Um, oval will make a good shape for us to start with. Um, going to select kind of a skin tone color here, the light peach, and I'm going to go ahead and make an oval shape in the middle of my stage. Uh, now my shape also has a stroke outline, this pencil outline, and a four weight, and you can change the weight uh, in this level right here if you want to make your outline thicker or thinner. Um, four is pretty good for it. So, um, and you'll see that when you draw a shape, that it comes in two separate parts. The outline and the inner part are two separate parts. So you can uh, select both by pressing and clicking, and then holding Shift and clicking on the outline. That will really select both. Um, but what we want to do right now is make some tweaks to the shape. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take the sub selection tool or A and we're going to click on the outside stroke line and you see some dots pop up and those are what are called anchor points and we can take those anchor points and push or pull them in to change the shape of the face we are working with. So I'm going to pull these in to make kind of like a peanut type shape um, kind of where the eye sockets would be and then pull these cheek shapes out just a little bit. Um, and maybe pull these up just a little bit more. There. So that, that's kind of where the eyes will go. And then this is the mouth, and that's kind of the jawbone on these sides. So I might move this one out just a little bit more. All right, cool. So that works for the head shape. I'm going to go ahead and um, also take that shape and select all of it so I could make a big arrow uh, rectangle around it with my arrow tool and then what I want to do is convert this to a graphic so I'm going to press F8 on my keyboard and turn this into a graphic okay I can also go to do that um, by going control or um, converting to symbol modify converting to symbol and so this is going to make it so it's an appear as a graphic in my uh, library over here and I can always pull it out and use it later on too. So, okay, so I have head there. Um, I'll move up now onto the mouth layer and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see a little bit better while I'm doing this. And again, take the oval tool, uh, draw a new oval. And what I will do is also um, fill in that oval with color black, take my sub-selection tool, and I'm going to make some tweaks to this oval shape. So, I can make my character have a little bit more of a smile. Now what you'll always notice is when you grab these anchor points, there is two other points that come off of it. Now what you can do with those is you can pull on those and that will change the tilt of the curve of that anchor point. So the flatter it is, the less of a curve there's going to be. Um, and that looks pretty good for a smile. I don't really want this divot here in the middle, so I'm going to pull that up just a little bit. The other thing that's really nice that you can do is actually take your keyboard and just click the arrow keys on your keyboard to do what's called nudging of the anchor points, and that Sometimes it's a lot easier than trying to use your mouse because the mouse can slide a little bit and uh, 
and it makes it just a little bit easier that way. Um, okay, so I have basic mouth shape. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and use my brush tool and I'm going to change my color to white and I'm going to draw in the teeth here of my character. I'm going to kind of fill that up just a little bit more. Great. And then I'm also going to take my brush tool, change it to a red, and kind of add like a tongue kind of in the bottom for my character. All right, so zooming out, see what I have. I now have the mouth in there and everything on the mouth layer. So whenever you click on a keyframe, it's going to automatically select everything that's on that keyframe on that layer. So clicking on that keyframe right there, the first one on the mouth layer, I'm going to go ahead and click F8 again to convert to a symbol. Now remember that is in your modify menu. You can go to convert to symbol or press F8. Um, and now I'm going to turn this into the mouth and say OK. Moving on up, uh, the nose will be very simple. I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. Um, and I'm going to just make a very simple, oh, I'm still on red. So I'll change my color to black and just make a very simple kind of curved nose. I think the brush was a little too big though. So I'm going to make it smaller and make a little nose shape there. All right, so great. Nose done, easy one, moving on. So again, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Again, going to use my oval tool to make the shape of an eye. All right, now this one I want to fill with white. So I'm going to take my fill bucket and fill that white. And then what I could also do here is I can um, take this shape. I can copy it and paste it. Paste and center works. All right, and now I have two eyes that are the same, same uh, shape. So I also want to take this eye and um, add a kind of center part or a pupil to it. And I'm gonna make that kind of line up with the inner part of the eye there. And that looks pretty good. Um, maybe you wanna move it a little bit what you'll see sometimes is that you won't be able to select the entire um, shape because flash is a little odd when it comes to uh, to drawing shapes um, but I want to take this and fill this black as well so I can select that and then change the color that way too or use my um, my paint bucket tool so I'm holding shift and clicking to get all those little areas now again I'm going to copy edit, uh, copy, and then uh, paste this other sphere here so I can get one that fits here. And again, just going to use my keyboard to kind of nudge that into place. Okay, so I'm going to select, click and select everything here. So you can see all of this is grayed out now. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to click F8 again. And then this is going to be the L E Y E, so left eye. And then on the other side, I'm going to select all the parts of this one. And again, press F8 and call this one R E Y E for right eye. And you'll see anytime you turn that into a symbol graphic, um, it's going to have a blue box around it. And it makes it a little bit easier to move around. I can click and I can drag this all around as one piece and it just makes things a little bit easier once it's actually made as a graphic. Um, next thing I'm going to do is go on and draw in some ears. So again, I'm going to take my brush tool, make sure I have black selected and I want the ears to kind of start around the midway of the eyes and kind of curve in and down. They're kind of rectangular, but that's okay for a first character animation. All right, and again, I'm going to take those pieces and select both. Um, and I'm going to press F8 again, convert these to symbols and call these ears. Say OK. Um, I'm going to double click on those 
to see the inside of that. So now what I'm what I've just done is I'm on the inside of that layer. So anytime you have a a graphic, you can double click on that graphic and go inside and make changes to the drawing. So what I'm going to do now actually is going to add a little bit of color and going to close up these ear lines. So I'm going to just kind of make this ear line go along the edge of the head here. And that works for that. Um, I want to grab that skin tone color back from the face on the first frame though. So what I'm going to do is use my eyedropper tool. Take the eyedropper, click on this face. Did I lock that layer? No. Nope. So I'm going to take my eyedropper tool, like I was saying, click here. Maybe I did lock it. Or, sorry, what I have to do since I turned it into a symbol is I have to double click on that head, go inside, and then click to get that color back. Okay, so now I have that color selected. I can go back, double click here. I have this color still. Take my paint bucket and fill in both of those shapes. All right, I can always go back to my main stage by clicking the scene direction arrow here. Now I'm back out. Last thing I want to do is add hair to my character. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and take my brush tool, take maybe a brownish color. I think that will work. I'm going to start by going kind of down around the sideburns and making kind of a jagged line that goes about halfway up the face and then surrounds the rest of the head on the top. And that looks pretty good. I've got to make sure I close in this line though. All right, and then I'll take my paint bucket and fill it. Well, looks like it's not quite closed there, so I'll have to close it here too. And now I think I should be good to fill that in. Cool. Get this one last spot there. Uh, again, I'm going to zoom out. I'll take what I have on this layer, and I'm going to, again, convert it to a symbol by pressing F8. Um, and I'm going to call this hair. OK, so what we should have now is six different layers and six different pieces, six different graphics. So a head, a mouth, a nose, which I did not convert into a graphic, eyes, ears, and hair. So I'm going to go back to this, and I'm going to actually convert my nose to a graphic as well, just so that everything is on the same page. And what that allows you to do is actually go in and animate those parts too, within just one frame, and rather than keyframing them all out like we have done up until this point. So I'm going to take now the left eye, and what we're going to do is start by making it blink. So this part we are going to do frame by frame, just like our previous animations. And we're going to do that by pressing F6 on the first keyframe of this left eye. And that is going to make a replica onto a second frame. Now in the second frame, we want to take your eraser by pressing E or clicking on it on your toolbar and then erasing some of the top of that eye. And then taking your brush tool with black line selected. You want to make sure your brush is about the same size as the eye brush that you already have on the outside edge there. And just connect that line again. You'll go back to your timeline, press F6 again to create a new keyframe. And again, you're going to repeat that same step. So erasing down this time a little bit more of the eye. And then taking your brush tool and adding back in another line. Uh, going back to your timeline, press F6 again. And this time erasing further down so that your eye is curving downwards. Brush tool one more time. Attaching that line and then F6 one more time. And this one 
the eye will be closed. So it should just look like a downwards curve. And sometimes with these shapes you have to erase a little bit more than just once to get it to go away. All right, so it erased a little bit too much, so I'm gonna go back and zoom in and just brush in the part that kind of went away. So trying to get that smoothed out, but uh, that's not that big a deal. So uh, I'm going to add another uh, another blank frame here, though, just for a pause, so that this pauses by pressing F5 and just inserting a blank keyframe. Now what I'm going to go back and do is take these first frames and copy them. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold down the Shift key, and click on the last one, the fifth one and then right click on any one of those frames and go down to copy frames. I'm going to click on this sixth frame here where I have nothing. Right click again and click paste frames. So now there's double of the eye closing. But really what we want to have happen is that the eye closes and then opens again. So we're going to take these frames, select the first one, hold shift and then click on the last one so you have all five frames selected. Right click again and go down to where it says reverse frames. That will reverse the play of the frames that we just pasted in and will make it appear like the eye is really closing and opening. Um, at that last frame I'm going to press F5 a couple more times just to add another pause into the way this is going to play. Um, so if I exit back out to my scene what I'm going to want to do is actually change this now, this eye, into a movie clip um, from a graphic. So instead of it saying graphic, down your properties bar, you want to change it to a movie clip, which will make it so that part of the animation will play when we go to preview it. Um, so if I save my file and preview it, you should see a winking eye from one of my character's eye. Um, so what you want to do is basically go back to your animation and repeat the same process with the right eye um, doing keyframe by keyframe animation of just the closing of the eye which should be about four frames. Put in a pause at the fifth, copy and reverse the frames and add a little pause to the end and then you would have both of your blinking eyes in. All right, so that is about that for now, and make sure you save your work frequently, and have fun.